In this video, I will show you how to post the link to either the presentation slides you are teaching from or the EduProtocol activity itself inside your Canvas course. You can do this in a variety of ways. Um, the first is in a module using the external URL if you want your slides to come in in editing mode. Also inside a module using external tool if you want your slides to come in in presentation mode. And then also using the rich content editor inside an assignment or page. So let's go to my Canvas course and take a look. So I am in my course now, I'm in the module section and I've got a module here that I've already used for a previous session on Edu Protocols. And I want you to just take a look. I've included my presentation slides, the ones that I am using to teach from. And notice that you as a student, if you were in my course, you could click on that link and get right to the slides that the teacher is using. So this is a great way to house everything that you need for both teaching and for learning. So your activities all in one place for your students. So notice here's an example where the students can click when they get to the activity part and immediately go to their slides to start working. The teacher can review the directions and then the kids can start working in their slides. Okay, do note that I've got this set up to where anyone at SAISD can edit. That is why the kids can come in and work in here. Okay, so this is a great way by just embedding your presentation slides, the slides you use to teach and having everything in there. I'm gonna show you one more example down in slide um, 25, I actually put in the presentation slides this team board. And so if you are working on team projects, team slides, um, they can come in here and click on the correct team or group, however you want to name it. Maybe they have group names or team names and you have those names up here instead. And also you have their names pre-populated. That's a great way for them to know immediately what group they're in and click and go to their activity. So again, housing it all in one place. And all I did was I brought in the slides using the external tool. So let's take a look at how I did that. I used the plus sign at the module level and I used external tool, okay? Now I'm using external tool because I want to embed the slides and I want them to be in presentation mode. So I'm gonna find my Google Drive and I'm just gonna do a search for my slides, okay? And there they are, submit, add the item, and here it is. So there they are, nice and large in presentation mode. So students can navigate alongside the teacher as the teacher teaches. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is using the external URL. So here's an example of external URL. And for this one, Notice it's not in presentation mode. Notice it's not nice and large the way we saw the other one. And notice we see all of the individual slides along the left-hand side. This is what I call editing mode. When we are in editing mode, you can see all your thumbnails on the left, and then you can come over to the right uh, and edit. Now, the only reason students can edit going to remind you again is because I have these slides to where all students can edit. So you can see it's grayed out right now, but if I were to open it up right here, do you see that little uh, up arrow? It goes to the external site. If I were to click there, I would get to the actual slides. And you see the share button is open to anyone with the link can edit. Okay, so the students can actually edit from right inside Canvas. Okay, you see that? You see how I can click on the box and type? All right, so that is what happens when you use the, again, 
This one was using the external tool, nice and large, and it's embedded in presentation mode. This one is using external URL and it is in editing mode. Okay, now just make sure you know that if you do not have it where all kids can edit, it is view only, they won't be able to do anything but view it. Okay, but you can still bring it in. All right, and now I wanna show you how to either hyperlink or embed into an assignment or a page. So I can show you either one. The, the point is to use the rich content editor. So I'll create a new assignment here. And this is gonna be edu protocol activity example. Click to open. So basically, if you want to take a grade, you could uh, bring it in as an assignment. But if you want to just send them the activity, you could just post this on a page. All right. So if I wanted to just hyperlink to text, I could put my instructions in the Rich Content Editor. And then I could uh, highlight whatever text I want to hyperlink to the activity slides. Use this link up here and grab my external link. So I have, let me get an activity. So if I wanna link this activity board, I could paste the link here and now students could click on the link to go. Or another option is to use the plugin. You see this little plugin? and you can embed the slide instead. So go to Google Apps, and I can embed right here. And notice it comes in, in presentation mode. So if you're gonna use the embed function, which is that little plugin, okay, it's gonna come right into the space in presentation mode. If you bring in a slide in presentation mode like this activity board, the students can click on any hyperlinks that are found there just like this and get to their activity. However, you cannot use this um, function if you want the kids to work right inside these slides because it will bring it in in presentation mode. So let me tell you, let me show you what I mean. If you use this little guy right here, this uh, plugin, and go to your Google Apps, and you use the embed, it's gonna bring it in as uh, a presentation, okay? Not to the editing slides. So, um, edu protocols, frayer activity, let me look for that. And if I bring this in, notice I can link it, which would be better in this scenario, because if I do this, which I'm gonna do to show you, there it is. But now they cannot work in the slides, even though I do have them to where anyone can edit. Okay, so that's the problem with, um, using that plugin inside the rich content editor. It'll only work if you're hyperlinking something like to a team board where they hyperlink and go out to their activity. Okay, so some tips for you. If you want students to be able to get some slides in editing mode, just like these here, you're gonna wanna use external URL or in the rich content editor hyperlink to some text that will get them here. If you want to embed slides, you're going to want to use external tool or use the plugin inside the rich content editor. Okay? 
I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but once you get in there and start practicing, it'll become easier for you. If you have any questions on this at all, please reach out to our team. Thanks.